Hey there, fifth grade, it's Mr. K. I greatly apologize for the Wi-Fi issues that I was having during today's live lesson. Because of the Wi-Fi issues that we were having, I wanted to make a live lesson for us, but I'm gonna record it for you guys so you guys can watch it later if you have any questions. Before we dive in, I really want to solidify, remember that means to make firm, the importance. I want to bring to your attention the importance that it is that we're doing the work that I have made for us. It is important not only because of me, I work hard to make these lessons for you, but also because it's for your benefit. You guys will improve your own learning if you do the work that I have laid out for you. Now, this is work that I've made and not someone else. So I know exactly what you guys need to learn in order to do well next year in sixth grade. Because I know what you guys need to do well next year, I've made these lessons tailored for you to not be too hard or too difficult for you guys to make them. But when we have these live lessons, it does make it pretty difficult to teach when you guys are not doing the work fully. So I really want to encourage you guys, please continue doing the work. I'm trying to make it as easy as I can for all of you guys when reading this book named Old Yeller. It's about a dog, something that you, a lot of you guys love. I take the time out of my day to record the videos for you so you don't even have to read the book. You can just listen to it. So next week, please, please, please listen to the audio that I and Miss Hampson have been recording for you so you can engage well in the readings that we're doing. Now, getting on to today's lesson, we're going over chapter five in the book Old Yeller. Take the time now, if you have not read it, to please go to the other link on my channel, sorry, on my YouTube channel, and listen to chapter five. It is great importance that you guys are listening to it in order to understand as well as benefit from the lesson that I have for you guys today. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking about three main things. We are going to be talking about who, where, and what's going on inside of a book, specifically today. Chapter 5 of Old Yeller. The best way that we can do this is by simply reading, reading the summary and reading the chapter, as well as writing down who was there, right? When we cross, when we read about a character, we're going to write them down. We're also going to be talking about where. So if we know where they are, where the characters are in the story, we're going to write that down easy enough, as well as the plot, right? The plot line is what is going on in the story. So with that, I'm going to erase my board real quick for all of us, and then we're going to dive into chapter five of Old Yeller. Give me one quick second. Sweet. I'm sorry about that. So chapter five of Old Yeller, I have made a summary. I have a summary for you guys that I'm going to read, right? Because I've already asked you guys to go back and listen to the video. Hopefully you guys have now read it, and I'm just going to sum it up. I'm going to give you a quick refresher. Right here, I have a comprehend board. Comprehend means to understand. It means to get something. So it's not too difficult. I'm just gonna turn my watch back on. Perfect, so it's to understand, it's to get something so you fully know it. So we have who, we have where, and we have the plot, right? What's the plot, what's going on? That's what plot means. So I'm gonna be filling out this board as I read. So moving on. So I'm going to start reading. Travis tells, ooh, Travis, that's who? Travis tells a story about how little Arliss, little Arliss, he's also there. Travis tells a story about how little Arliss catches and keeps every living thing that ran flew, jumped, or crawled. So, Travis is telling a story. Travis tells a story. Uh, how every little thing, how little Arliss catches and keeps every little thing that ran, flew, jumped, or crawled. Because of this, Mama, Mama, that's another character, Only one M, so I'm sorry there. Mama makes him empty his pockets every single night when they get home. So where are they? They're at home. 
So where? So Travis, he's telling a story about how little Arliss catches everything, right? So plotline also, right? Little Arliss. Little Arliss catches animals. All right, so we have the story going so far. Let's move on. In his pockets, he had everything from grasshoppers to toads to bugs and even a copperhead snake. Crazy. The snake scared Mama. After that, Mama made Travis teach little Arliss how to kill snakes. So, Travis teaches little Arliss how to kill snakes. So, Travis teaches little Arliss. So Travis teaches little Arliss, remember, how to kill snakes. I just ran out of room. How to kill snakes. After Old Yeller came, another character, we have Old Yeller. After Old Yeller came, little Arliss started catching bigger and bigger animals, such as rabbits and birds. Old Yeller would catch the animals for Little Arliss and then give it to Little Arliss. And Little Arliss would lie and say that he himself caught the animals. Travis tells about the time that Little Arliss grabbed a fish. And, but the fish spiked him with the fish's fin. So Little, little Arliss was catching a fish, right? Oh, and it spiked him. A fish sometimes on his fins has spikes. Even though through all this pain, little Arliss would not let go of the fish. So that is the short summary that I have for you guys of chapter 5. And you guys can see it took me a quick minute, right, a hot second, to read through it all. But it is important in order to understand, to fully comprehend what's going on. Who is in the story? And this is going to help you guys with your ELA work that you have this week. Who is in the story? Well, we had Travis... We had Little Arliss, and we had Mama and Old Yeller. Those were all of the characters that showed up in the story. Where were they? They were at home, but even at the end, where during in this story would you catch a fish? You would catch a fish at the creek, so we could also put... We can also put the creek on here of where they were. So we have Travis, Little Arliss, Mama, and Old Yeller. Those are who is in the story. Where in the story are they? They're at home as well as by the creek. And then lastly, what's going on? We have Travis telling the story. And then we have Little Arliss catches a fish, right? So he catches animals. And then Travis tells about how Little, Travis tells little Arliss how to kill snakes. So the whole point of this week is being able to summarize and fully understanding what we're reading. Understanding comes from listening. Understanding comes from reading. And understanding, understanding and comprehending mainly comes from paying attention. To all too often, I can quickly read something and then quickly forget about it. But that is why it is very important for us as students to read slowly. It might take some time, but it's important to read slowly so we can fully understand what's going on in the story. If you guys have any questions about the lesson that you have that I taught today, or any questions about the book Old Yeller or anything that we're doing on Google Classroom, please feel free to reach out to me on Remind or on the stream on Google Classroom. Please let me know if you have absolutely any questions and I'm sure hoping that you guys are gonna have a great day. I'll see you guys soon, bye.